Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about global keyword in python programming so guys in python the global keyword allows us to modify the variable outside of the current scope so it is used to create a global variable and make changes to the variable in a local context so guys let us check this with the help of example now over here so let's say we have a global variable that is a and the value is equal to 10 so let's say we have a function over here and the function name is add so what we will do is so let's say we have a variable b for which the value is equal to 20 and we want to print the sum of these two numbers that is a and b a is the global variable and b is the local variable for this function that is add so we can simply print a plus b over here and then what we can do is we can simply call this function function that is add followed by open and close parenthesis so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see 30 is getting displayed we are using the global variable we are using the local variable and we are adding both the variables over here now guys let us say i want to change the value of a to some other value so what i will do is let's say i come inside this function and i do a it is equal to 30 so what we have done over here is this global variable that is a for which the value was 10 i have just updated the value to 30 over here and b value i'll keep it same that is 20 and i want to print the sum of these two numbers i have called this function that is add so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see 50 is getting displayed so we have assigned some other value to a that is 30 over here now guys let us say what we do is i'll just increment the value of a by 10 so over here a it is equal to a plus 10 over here so this expression we are using so what happens in this case let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see we are getting some error over here unbound local error cannot access local variable a where it is not associated with a value so basically what is happening over here is local preference is given first so over here a is equal to a plus 10 it is trying to find out the expression that is a plus 10 but it doesn't have any local instance of the variable a and that is why we are getting this error that cannot access local variable a where it is not associated with a value so so what we can do in this case is we can tell the python interpreter that we already have defined the variable a for which the value is 10 already and that 10 value is supposed to be taken when we are computing this expression that is a plus 10 so how do we do that before this line of code over here we use the global keyword so this global keyword followed by the variable a so this tells the python interpreter that the variable a needs to be treated as a global variable and this time a plus 10 in this case the a's value will be taken as 10 and 10 plus 10 which is 20 will be assigned to this a variable so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see we are not getting any error now and we are getting the sum of two numbers that is 40 over here how because the a value is 10 and 10 plus 10 is equal to 20 so 20 is being assigned to this variable that is a and b's value is also 20 so 20 plus 20 will become 40 over here which is getting printed so guys this is the way that we can use the global keyword in order to tell the python interpreter that this variable needs to be treated as a global variable for which we have already defined it over here as the global scope now guys there is another variation over here that is global keyword in nested functions so we already have a example over here so i'll just copy this example and paste this in our vs code editor so we'll copy this and paste this over here so what exactly we are doing over here is we are having the outer function for which the number is equal to 20 and then we have a nested function that is the inner function over here and we are saying that a global keyword is there for which the variable is num and then num it is equal to 25 now this means that we are declaring the num variable as a global variable over here for which the value will be 25 right now so what is happening is print before calling in a function this num value will get printed but as i have told you the local preference is first so what should happen so we will check which value will get printed over here before calling the inner function and then the inner function will be called during which the global num for which num is equal to 25 will get assigned over here and then print after calling inner function and then we will print the num value once again and then after this we are calling the outer function so that all these print statements can get executed and then after that outside both function we will again print the value of this num variable so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see before calling in a function so where we are 
over here that is before calling in a function the value of num it is equal to 20 in this case how so basically this num value that is 20 it was assigned over here in the outer function and then the control statement went over here before going inside the inner function because it was not called yet so before calling in a function num value is 20 that is what we had assigned over here now in a function was called and then we have after calling in a function the value of this variable was printed once again so after calling in a function it is again 20 why so because guys over here we have provided the global keyword so this means that we are creating another variable for which the scope is global and not local in this case and then the num variable over here for which the value is 25 this num variable is created with the global scope and not the local scope so basically right now as far as local scope is concerned within this outer function it is still 20 over here and that is what we are getting the value of num variable as 20 even after calling the inner function and then what happens is outside the outer function when we come once again so outside both the function now the num value will be what 25 that's because we had defined a global variable over here for which the num value was taken as 25 and that is what we are getting outside both function it is equal to 25 so guys it is little bit complex to understand for the very first time but with practice you will understand what are the different concepts as far as this global keyword is concerned and where to use them so guys practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different output please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is modules in python programming so stay tuned